Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are a first timing Draven bot lane in a very long time. Man, I've not played Draven in just it's been a while. I used to play Draven back when he had a bleed on him a lot, and I used to be really good at him. The mechanic of catching the axe is exactly the same, but basically it used to be whenever you hit somebody with an auto attack, if it had the axe, it would cause like a bleed. It was really broken. But uh the runes that I'm running are this this game. So we're going for the lethal tempo uh, style. Apparently Hail Blades is really good on him, but I don't feel very confident with Hail Blades. Playing versus Samira. I have a Janna. Uh, it's about catching your axes, auto attacking when you have your axes. When you catch an axe and kill things and you keep on catching your axes, you get stacks. The stacks, uh, when you get a kill, and specifically a kill, not an assist, you will... Um, get gold based off of the number of stacks you get. So, it's about trying to make it so you have very high um stacks and then your teammates help you cash out and when you cash out that's when like you're going to do a lot. I still caught one of my axes. Whenever he headbutts me away, it's kind of annoying, but We're doing okay right now. You can have two axes spinning at the same time, because we have two... We're holding two weapons of them, so... Hey, I messed up one of my auto attacks there, so that was pretty close to me dying. You shielded me, so now we kill this guy too. <gasps> I figured that if they committed on my teammate, we win no matter what. But my misclick of my auto attack was pretty bad, but Alistar is just so girthy as a cow. So he's so big. It's hard to not misclick him. Anyways, that's really good. Uh... So, when you cash out, uh, there's still a base amount. So, we got 40 gold. So, as you can see, we've earned, so far, 200. Um, so, that helps out a little bit. It looks like one of the best things we can go is Trinity Force uh, on Draven. There's a bunch of different ways of building this champion. You can go Essence Reaver into Infinity Edge for high crit. Um, but I think that... I mean, I'm not a Draven player, but I think... Because they have a lot of burst and almost undodgeable abilities, um, with Annie ultimate, that guy's ultimate, Karthus ultimate, uh, Trinity Force does make you the tankiest of any build because it gives you 400 HP. So I feel like being tanky is maybe best and rather than damage. I mean, I'll still deal plenty, but... I don't really know if I'm supposed to be helping out with whatever Jan is doing, but minions kind of do damage to me, and you're, like, really far away. What does suck is that how uh, your sheen works with uh, Draven is that I use my W, because whenever I catch an axe, it resets my W, and that is a little bit annoying to play around. Oh. I messed that up, kind of. It's kind of going okay, though. She's just dead. Sheen proc. I didn't get to catch my axe, except for like one single time there, but it all worked out in the end because they're just so hard committed on the, my Janna. So yeah, whenever I catch an axe, as you can see, my WCD is resetting. So. Okay, I mean, is this worth it? Right? It, that's good, no? Did she have shield? I think that it's good because the thing is that I gave the shutdown to Alistar, I believe, so... Th 
the sheen damage does feel pretty good. I did drop a lot of axes during the fight, but also if like Alistar slows me or like knocks me away from them, obviously I can't do anything about that. We killed him before I died, right? All as well, which like cashed out again. So I'm just becoming like extremely rich. Look at my items compared to hers. She has a long sword, and I have a sheen plus uh axe. I dropped my axe. There's an Alistar topside. What's nice about going Essence Reaver build is we'll never run out of mana if we went for that, but I specifically took Presence of Mind because I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. Is this really something that they're contesting? Like, I just want to make sure we get this. I don't want to lose the dragon because for some reason I'm not there and that actually causes issues. She's level 6, probably because Alistar roamed and she got a big wave all on her own, so. Dang it, dude. I messed up my ability. I'm using my stand aside, which is a knockback, to get the Alistar off of me. Because he was about to hit me, but... Okay, I mean, that guy's just dead. I think it's worth using my ultimate there rather than my flash. He exhausted me, which slowed me. Okay, he by... I thought that he was the one who did it, but it was actually Samira who exhausted. I don't know why they keep going so aggressive on us. It's really confusing. We are playing inside a master tier, so we're still in high elo, but... I didn't expect it to be this easy. I think my Janna is playing amazing, I have to admit. I hit her with one axe, boom. Besides uh, your W resetting, what your W does is movement speed and attack speed, so. Ooh. I'm not even worth money, so it doesn't really matter if... Uh... This is, like, completely worth it. I think that Janna should have also just died rather than try to run away. It was kind of a waste of her using flash. Really, I didn't flash that. I deserve to die. <laughs> we already lost our bounty. I pressed flash, but I guess I'm just too boosted. <laughs> because I, I did feel like I pressed it, but I mean, I'm just not good enough, I suppose. Collector's good as another item. If I did flash that, I probably could have outplayed and or lived. I don't think that they could maybe dive me. I have to just press Exhaust on Samira. The Malphite used everything, which is his only thing, which is ult, and could have lived. Our ultimate is global, and I think it deals like... If Whirling Death would leave an enemy with less than 100% of Draven's stacks, he would execute. So if I have like 400 stacks, then if they're below 400 HP, it would kill them. Pretty powerful if you have high stacks. It helps you execute people. But I only have like 15, so they'd have to be less than 15 HP, so not really that good. Nice kill mid. It's gonna hit her once. Is Alistar around? Yeah. What's going on? I mean, he's not comboing for some reason. I'm just getting really confused. Are they, like, giving up? Did he DC? I just didn't pick up my axe, but... She still has her thing, but... Okay, are these guys, like...
What's going on, dude? This game is so weird. It's causing me to, like, literally miss my axes. <laughs> I swear. I'm not missing them because I'm bad. I'm missing them because I'm... My brain is frying about what is going on. Like, is there really that much team tension going on on the other side where they are just freaking out at each other? Where they won't even play? Because that's what it seems like. I'm trying to not get near the brush. Your axes kind of follow your movement, so depending on which way you're walking, they will, like, move in really sporadic ways. You try to just go with them. Oh, dang, that ultimate was pretty bad for me. It did kill because she didn't actually hit me with that, so... I dropped all my axes again in the middle of the fight. This is just a 15 minute game for sure. They have completely given up. How much gold have I generated? 800? Jeez. Not to mention I'm not even level 9 yet. And uh, level 9 is when your AD ratio on your Q deals way more. I think you might be dead. I can't help you. I have no mana. I'm sorry. Not able to assist with that. They are building so much armor on the opposing team, but I still think that building Collector this early is pretty smart. There's no way she lives, right? Wow, is she really? Malphite's... Oh, okay. Sending Tibbers in to tank for her. Landing some abilities to heal, though. Nope, not enough. I don't think we can chase this, can we? I don't have enough movement speed to catch up to them. I dropped my... Uh, I'm getting hardcore minion blocked. Okay, I want to take more towers since we already have such a gigantic lead. That phase rush, though. Okay, so Kali will head bot. I'll head mid. This is probably warded now. Akshon is dead. This is a losable game just because I don't play this champion. I'm so dead here. I'm going to get CC'd by everybody, right? I'm trying to dodge the Karthus Qs occasionally. Karthus ulti kills me? I'm sorry. Oh, oh my god, I lived. Thank you, Janna. You saved my life. If I had triumphed there, I would have honestly not even been in danger, but I definitely would have ran out of mana. <clears throat> when I'm like trying to spam W from catching asses in these fights, it becomes kind of annoying. Uh... Okay, yeah, they gave up. Multi G. I mean, our topping was also kind of hard stomping, but hey, I think that went somewhat okay. I think Draven is a little bit overrated for like super high difficulty. I feel like he's just as hard as kiting with uh, really effectively on Kaisa. But just because, at least with your kiting, even if you don't kite perfectly, your damage. Your damage is insane. I mean, technically your uh, Q auto attack deals as much damage as two auto attacks. So it just does a ridiculous amount. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoy the commentary of me playing something that I literally never play. 
in high elo and i will see all of you guys in the next commentary goodbye